Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another important video on Tableau interview scenarios. And this is a series three video in that. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the two important scenarios that I have personally got in many of the interviews that I have attended. So I wanted to cover that in this video. So while I do that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that it can reach a wider audience and help those who are planning to attend interviews. So the first question here that the recruiter asked me in uh, interviews like Deloitte, when I attended, he asked me this question. When I attended for HCL, uh, you know, this was the same question that was asked. Okay. And I think one of the startup company that I attended, this was the same question that was asked. So how to remove all options from the filter in Tableau and how to show apply button on filter in Tableau. So two important questions and two important methods or you know the applications that we need to do it in the real time. So for that, what I'm doing is I'm taking a simple uh, category wise sales I'm taking just before I filter anything. Okay, and uh, yeah, let us simply build a simple view. Now what I'm doing is I'm clicking on this filter and click on show filter. Now we got this. Now the intention is the user don't want to see this all option first thing okay and second is he want an apply button here okay so just click on this and you have multiple options of how you want to format the filter so i'm clicking on this format filter and you know set controls or you also have this customize option where you can customize the filter. So when you go to this customize option, you see there is an option called show all value, which is by default checked in. You can uncheck that. Now that is gone. Our first question is, you know, done. Now if I click on this again, same, click on customize option and there is an option called as a show apply button. Okay, so before I do that, let me show how it is working. Now suppose, uh, we have given uh, the option to select uh, multiple options. Okay. Okay. Now when user selects this, as soon as he selects or deselects, that action is being performed on the Tableau. Okay. So immediately. Okay. So now I don't want by, by mistake user has selected this office supplies, but you know that action is automatically performed. But in other case, when we have this apply button, now see the difference. User didn't want office supplies. He also don't need technology. So even if I didn't select this, you know, it is still working with the old thing that we have. So the new selection will work only when I click on my apply button. So what is happening with this? We are avoiding unwanted hits to our database with this. So this will definitely improve the performance of our Tableau report again, because we are not, you know, keeping or we are not bombarding with the multiple hits to the database or unwanted hits to the database. So only when there is a real intention, then only you need to click on apply button and then that action will take place. Okay. So maybe you can also have, or you can also practice this implementation in your real time as well. This will definitely, you know, improve uh, the visualization. So second question is steps to replace data source. Again, one of the very important part of a developer's life. Also because while developing reports, we might be connected to a different database or a different file or you know, different table. So while moving to different, migrating from uh, development to QA environment or QA to production environment, we might need to connect to different data sources. Okay. So again, don't confuse here. Let me open a notepad. So in assume you are in development environment, you are connected to some employee table. Okay. So the same table will also be present in uh, what you call QA environment. But we need to make sure that when you are moving from dev to QA, our table structure is same. All the columns that you need 
are available data type is matching data is consistent so you need to make sure of all of these points before you move your reports from one environment to another environment now suppose i want to connect it to a different data source like say sample superstore is my dev i want to connect it to something like say uh, sample superstore production so i'm going to an excel file here and i am going to my repository data sources and maybe i'll go inside so here i have two data sources assume one is our dev environment and another one is prod so i'm just i now currently in my current use case i have built my reports using this sample superstore now because i am moving to production i want to move i want to connect to this so what is the first step that you need to do you need to select click on add data source and add it to your view that is the first step that you need to do okay so two steps we have done add that to your view now what you need to do so first uh, okay let us uh, first i'm preparing some view so that you know we observe uh, if there are any changes or any any failures to that click on sales okay now what you need to do as soon as you add your data source okay uh, right click on your data source i'm right clicking on my sample superstore there is an option called as replace data source option okay first step add data source second step click on replace data source by clicking on your data source here and here from here you need to select what is your current data source and what is your replaced data source so my current data source is this one and i'm replacing it with sample superstore production click on okay now you see our connection is being changed from this to this but now this is again giving us error saying that there is some problem connecting to that so let me bring it here so we didn't connect to our data source yeah now if i come back our view is populated but now if you observe there is a check mark here which indicates that this connection is now active now i'll click on our old data source right click on that and click on close now we have replaced our connection with sample superstore production so this is the best possible use case where you are not seeing any issues with the data but assume there are some fields that are not matching so in that kind of case you have to go manually and you have to adjust them like say order id is not present so what will you do in that right click on that and you have an option called as replace references and you can select what is your order id so say my order id is my customer id click on ok now that will map to that field so that actions you might have to perform in addition to replacing the data source so i hope you find this video useful if you like it don't forget to comment and so that you know it reaches a wider audience that's it from my side in this video have a good day ahead bye bye